In this video, I'm going to show you how to subnet a class B IP address. Hi, my name is Jolana James and I'm an AWS and CCNA certified IT professional. In this video, I'm going to use the subnetting cheat sheet for column method. Please watch this video to learn how to create it quickly so that you can get every subnetting question right. Now here's the learning process. First, I'm gonna show you step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna show you alternative method and then I'm gonna confirm you got it by showing you a third example. Please subscribe. Here's the notes for class B. The range is between 128 and 191 with the default subnet mask of 255-255-00. Now, I use a five-step subnetting process so that I get every single subnetting question right and I use a subnetting cheat sheet for count method. These are the five steps that I'll walk you through very quickly on the next example. You find the interesting octet, you identify the subnetting row, you find the block size, the range, identify the next subnet, and then you calculate. This seems like a lot, but it gets so it goes so fast once you get into the rhythm. If you don't understand any of these steps, please go back and watch future videos at this playlist. Here is the first IP address. We're going to go through step by step. The first step is identify the interesting octet. Okay, there are multiple ways to identify find the interesting octet. Please watch that video. I just like to go, it's it's 20. So it's either gonna be default of, of eight, 16, or 24. We've already discussed that B is a default of 255, 255, something, something. So right here, we know that this is the interesting octet that we need to solve for. So we got that. The next one is identify the subnetting row. Okay, so here you start counting. We didn't, we don't want to write all the seeders out because that would take too long. And this subnetting cheat sheet is meant to be designed in a, an exam under stress conditions. So it's just four columns, it's easy to create. So you start counting at the closest seeder without going over. So either eight, 16 or 24. Since we're counting for 20, we start at 16 since 24 is too much. So you go 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so here is our subnetting row. Next, we find the block size and the range. So the block size is 16. I'll just write here, 16. And our range. So we need to figure out which range would include the number 18, since we're counting in blocks of 16. So let's find our range. So we go zero. Next one would be 16, plus 16 is 32, plus 16 is 48. And we need to find the range that would include 18. So it's gonna fall somewhere under here because here this range starts at 32, that's too much. So this is the range that we'll be solving for. And the next subnet is going to be 32. So here, let's put that. So the next subnet is 32. All right, now you have all the information you need and we can start calculating. Okay, so let's go. The subnetting mass is going to be 240. So it's 240. 0. So we're just right here at 240. The first available address, 255, 255. Whenever you see that, that means carry, keep that number the same. So you don't have to calculate for that. So this is how I like to get started calculating. I'll, I'll keep the numbers same. 147, 122. It's going to be something, something. So just keep these all the same. 147, 122. One, four, seven, one, two, two. Remember, when it, wherever you see two, five, five, that means keep the number the same. Okay, so now we're ready to start. So you go N for network first, last broadcast. And we decided that it's in counts in 16, so zero, block size of 16. So first one, zero, point zero because we have to count for these two, this one and this one. Next one's gonna be 16.0. And the next one, oh, it's not here, 
32. So it's 32. 16 is 32. And now that's all you need to calculate. So you know, you know, broadcast is one less than the next one. So if this is 32, this is 31.255. And then last is one less than broadcast. So it's 31.254. And then the first is 16. And one more than this one is one. So there you have it. So the first available address, oh, first available. Okay, well, I forgot the network. I gotta write that on here. Okay, so the network is this. Let's squeeze it up here. 22.16.0, two the first available is 16.1. The, the last one is 31.254. And then the broadcast here is 31.255. Now that went a little long, but I just wanted to show you step by step so you can get the groove. Now let's go to the next example because I'm going to show you what happens when you are given the subnet mask. Okay, for our next example, you are given the subnet mask and you need to figure out all of these questions on the left. How do you get started? Well, you just start with the steps. So find the interesting subnet, octet. Find the interesting octet. So we know that 255, you ignore, 255, you ignore. So it's this one. And just hindsight, all class Bs are going to be that one that you're focused on. 41, okay? Now identify the subnetting row. So what do you do when you're given the, the subnet mask? Well, you just go look for it on the chart. Here we go, subnet 128. So this is going to be our subnetting row. Easy, right? Okay, the block size. The block size is 128. So we're gonna count in blocks of one, uh, 128. So the first one's zero, next one's 128. The next one after that is 256. So our number is 41. So it's going to fall under this range because this one starts at 128, but it does help us see what the next subnet is. So that is perfect. Block size is 128. And the next subnet was 128. All right, and now we're already ready to calculate. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna start by drawing our um, initials here. Let's see, if N for network. F for first, L for last, and B for broadcast. Now, because it's, I like to start here. Oh, sorry, let's do the cedar. So let's say it's 128. So how do you find the cedar? Okay, that's easy. So it's a class B, so we start counting at 16. So 16, 17. So it's gonna be slash 17. And if you don't know how to uh, figure out what the class is, please watch that video. Okay, the next step is the network address. Okay, so now 255 means keep the number the same. So 172 means keep that number, I mean 255 means keep 172, 62. And then I just like to figure, write them all out now, just so I have to only add the last once I solve it. So it's gonna be something, something. Okay, so here we go. So we know it's zero, because we're counting blocks of 128. So it's 0.0, because .0, you have to count for the other octet. The next one's 128.0. And now you already know, you know how to fit, solve it. So the broadcast is one less than the next one. So it's 128, so this is 127.255. And last is 127.254, one less than the last one. And then the first one is just one more than the network. So this is 0 0.1, All right, And you just fill in the chart. So network is 0, 0.0. First is 0 0.1. Last is 127.254. And then the broadcast is one, 27.255, that's for what we're solving. Okay, hopefully that makes sense and we can go on to the next example. Here's the next subnetting address. This one's a little tricky because 
if when we identify the interesting octet, which is this one, see how high it is? It's 191. So I'm going to show you a little trick on how to quickly find the range, the IPA range for this address without having to write all the numbers out. Okay, so let's get started from the beginning. So find the interest, interesting octet. We know it's this one because it's a class B and we know the subnet mass for class B is 255. Default is 255 point something something. So, you know, it's this one. Whatever one that doesn't have 255 is the one you focus on. The first one without 255 is the one that you focus on. Okay, now we need to find the subnetting row. Okay, so it's 23. So you start at 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, this one. This block size is two. The range, now that's where we're going to have. So look, we have to start counting at two and go all the way up to a number that includes 191. Only in counting in ranges of two, so that's zero, two, four. That's gonna take a long while. Well, let me show you a little trick that will help you get this faster. So remember, we have to find a range that includes the number 191, okay? And we only can count in block, the block size is two. So the block size is two. So let's start counting in two. So zero, two, four, six, eight, 10. Okay, well, there's a zero. So I'm going to put 10 here. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, there's a zero up here. So I'm going to put it up here. So I bet the next one ends in two. So 22. The next one's in in four. So 24, 26, 28, 30. Can you see the pattern? So I'm going to count up top here. So 4, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so now I just know that if I continued, I, I would round up at 200 here. So going backwards, this would be 190, this would be 180, this would be 170. Do you see the pattern? So this is how you can quickly figure out what the range is without having to do all of that. So this would be 120, this would be 110, and you guessed it, this would be 100. Okay, so we're looking for a range that includes 191. So 191, so I would start to count at 191. So 190, here, let's go here, 190. The next one would be 192. And then I would, you know, you just keep following this little pattern here. Here, actually, let's just do it here. So 190, because all the zeros go on top, so 190. 192, so the next one's probably gonna be 194, 196. You see the pattern? Good, 198. Okay, which one includes 190? So it's probably gonna be this one because this one goes from 190 to 192 and this one starts at 192. So hopefully this helps you make sense, helps you quickly find the range. Just look for the pattern and then you can quickly find your range. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now we're ready to solve. So the interesting octet is this. This was our subnetting row. We are counting in a block size of two, and the range is 190. Yeah, I'll just put it here. Range was 190, and the next one was 192. So the subnet mask is 254. The network, remember, oh, here, let's write it, 255, 255, 254, okay. So the network address, whenever you see 255, you just continue the number down. So I'd like to write them all here. 158.21 something something. It's all going to be that. Because remember, 255 means keep the number exactly the same. Perfect, okay. So network first, last broadcast. Remember, we've already decided that it was 190. And then counting it in blocks of two, the next one is 190.0, don't forget the zero. And then 192.0, and now we're ready to solve for this. So broadcast is one less, so 191.255. Last is one less than broadcast, so 191.254. And then first is one more than the network, I mean, yeah, network. 
Okay, so now we just fill it in. So it's 190.0, 190.0. First is available is 0.1. The last is 191. This is 191.254. And broadcast is 191.255. And that's it. So you can do everything rather quickly and solve it. All right, thanks for watching this video. If it doesn't make sense, please watch other videos on the channel and please subscribe. Thanks so much, bye-bye.